Hey guys, Solomon here. Welcome back to Let's Play Hamtaro Rainbow Rescue. Last time we helped get the uh, yellow ingredient from a flower ranch, and now we are on our way to get the green ingredient from Clover Elementary. But before that, we can actually go back here to Sunny Peak now. Yeah, um, we can pick up the sunflower seeds again, and this guy will have now moved off the bridge, so we can actually explore this area in full some more. So I'm gonna screw around a bit and do that first. So yeah, we actually have another uh, ham game here. Let's do it. Let's play with the frog. The Frog Road Dash. Now this is uh, Hamtaro's expertise. Um, it's a pretty simple game. Just for, to uh, show you the controls, you just press A to run. Basically, when the way is clear, press the A button. Like... so. Ah. Uh, not quite like that. Sorry. <laughs> not quite like that. Alright, let's try this again. But yeah, basically just run across when the way is clear. Ah! Son of a stupid frog. Man, the second one's actually easier than this. Okay, let's try it one more time. There we go. Ha! See? Nothing to it. And we get a... Ooh, is that a... What is that, a pomegranate? Alright. So we get a few uh, points out of it. And if you interact with the second frog, you'll do a second game. Now, you can just run past the frogs and just completely bypass the game. But, well, why not go for free stickers and other stuff here? This one was is simple enough too. It it really does come down to timing. It's not a it's not a hard one. Huh, nice. Oh whoa, that's a that's a lot of uh points for just one thing, wow. Uh whoa. There's another one? No, it's just the road dash one again. Go away. Oh, it randomly switches? Huh. Is there like a number three somewhere? Or is there just two? I think there's just two. Alright. How's the fishing? Hmm. Glad to hear. We still need a stick though in order to uh have ourselves a uh oh what is it? Uh right, in order to have a fishing rod. Let's pull out this carrot. Haha, -ha, more carrots. They're good for your eyes. And they give you a lot of points, too. Hmm. What's with... Well, here's a sunflower seed. We'll find out what that ham game up there is near the top of the screen is in a bit. Uh, let's actually go over here, because I think there's a, another ham game we can do over here. Indeed. If we go up here... Huh? What the? Who is that? Huh. Huh. It's a mountain hiker. Huh. Must be the Happy Wanderer. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh, I can't help but say uh, that's his own fault for doing that. Alright, but yeah, we got a bungee jump rescue to this guy. So, let's do it. Ham Taro. So, controls are pretty simple. You press A to catch the guy. Basically what that means is, when the Ham Taro is directly over the hamster, you gotta press the A button. If you don't, you miss, and you have to catch him on either the rebound or on another uh, fall later on. It's not that hard, but the thing is, you can get a lot of points out of this minigame. See, it's like double whatever time you have left. As you can see, that is a lot of points. And the thing is, you can easily replay it. Oh yeah, you get a giant sticker out of it, by the way. And he falls back down. <laughs> so yeah, you can actually play this minigame over and over and over again. Later on, if you decide you want to use this as an opportunity to get some level 2 or 3 stickers or... Well, no, wait. Um, yeah, if you want to get some higher level stickers, this is a good way to get a bunch of points for, first off, getting stickers through the conventional method to level 2 stickers, and then getting a bunch of points for the level 3 and 4 stickers. That's basically the way you go about that, so... Let's now go over here to this ham game. Uh-huh, petals keep falling. You can't... you keep cleaning them. 
I guess we could try to help, um, but is there anyone we have who can help us with that? Uh, not Hamtaro, not Boss, not him. Ah, looks like, uh, this is Bijou's kind of game right here. Let's see, so basically, you move, you have to catch the pedals. You have to catch at least 35, I'm pretty sure of that. Try to catch as many as you can. Eh, it's not that bad. As long as you catch them before they hit the ground. Well, they can hit the ground, but before they fade away, they can still count toward your total. So, it's kind of like the sticky, stick it note game from, uh, Ham, uh, blah blah blah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. From, uh, Heartbreak, except you don't actually have to try to stick it, you just have to, uh, catch them. So if you catch at least 35, you get a, a one point for each one, so that's kind of nice. Yay! And you can't do it ever again. Sorry, viewers, that's sadly the way it is. But we got another one right here. What are you doing, sir? Call our prediction. Uh... So, uh, this is who is causing all these pedals to fall. So now you can play the minigame again, huzzah! It's kind of interesting how they do that, you know? You can, like, talk to someone else nearby, and you can reset the puzzle. Huh. So we got another game here, but, well, let's, uh, try checking out this place first. It's a store! Huzzah! Alright, so, let's see what they have here. Well, basically, let's just buy everything, because in this game, that's one way to go about it. Uh, if you're going for sticker completion, which I guess at this point I'm pretty much committed to doing... Well, maybe not completely, but, uh, there we go. It's not a bad idea if you just buy one of every sticker while you're here, so that way they're in your collection, you don't have to really worry about them later. And we get a number six, a num letter, a number eight, yeah. I still have a lot of sunflower seeds left over. Now let's try climbing the tree. And it turns out to be a new minigame, which wasn't here before. And we actually have to hop off in order to climb again. So, if I recall correctly, the way this game works, you gotta climb the tree and try not to get hit by bugs. Oh, well, not bugs, but by, uh, hey, Gordon! Yeah, watch out. You can knock away the pine cones, but you cannot knock away the rocks. Why anyone is dropping rocks, I have no idea. So, you can knock away the, uh, pine cones just like that. Use it if you really don't have much, any options on knocking stuff out of the way. Uh, you know, I just now remember this is actually a mini game I kind of hate. But yeah, it's not bad. Just gotta be really careful not to get hit by the pine cones. Just kind of bob and weave near the bottom of the screen and you'll be fine. And hit the top before time runs out. And voila! Huh. You know, I'm thinking I pick up every piece of candy on the way up as well. And we get a giant lemon. How nice. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna get points for every one of those, huh? So yeah, not bad. I wouldn't say it's incredibly easy though, so, you know, not my preferred game of choice, but let's see who this is. Oh yeah, it's the, oh, you're dropping everything. Huh, and we get a, another giant sticker. Huzzah! Giant stickers for the win. But we can go over here and find another game. Do I want to head over there yet? Let me check the other way. I think that's a shortcut down. There's nothing we can do there, so... Yeah, let's just head over here. Leap of Faith! Yeah, we gotta actually have a leap of faith here. Let's see, controls, press A to jump. So, we're not actually jumping to our doom. We're actually just, uh, jumping from one, uh, uh, one branch to the next. 
And as you can see, there's actually two alternate routes. So, you want to try to, uh, keep an eye out for them. I don't know, I'm definitely probably going to be doing this game again, just to try to get the extra routes. Or maybe there's not, I don't know. Let's climb this tree. There's nothing here! What the heck? And we go, well, if we go up here, we can get some sunflower seeds. And over here, there's a giant vine. Can we do it? Yes, we can. Alright. You know, I'm still convinced that depending on which slope you land on depends on, uh... Oh, but there's a second Leap of Faith game. Let's try it. You see, that's the thing. Sometimes we'll have a second level of difficulty, and they won't tell you. So let's see, if I recall correctly. Yeah, I landed on the... Oh, I guess you can't land on the upper, upper branch. Well, there you go. So we get a little monkey lemur. Okay. And we get more points for having uh, done so wonderfully. Yay! And some more strange alien... guys. Okay. Well, let's just climb back up and around. And just get our, make our way out. Hmm. So by lowering this vine, what did we unlock down here? Oh no, there's bugs! Ah. Hey, what do you know about bugs? Oh, those are your ladybugs? Uh, I guess, sure, why not? Alright, so, uh, I think this is actually one of the Maxwell's games, yeah. If it's something that requires mashing, yeah. Okay, so it's one of those. So, we gotta catch three bugs. Just press in the direction of the bug in question, and you will catch it. You don't need that much time for it, and you can do it pretty quickly, just like that. And as you- now usually if there's not a number next to it, it usually means it's only one level of the game, so there you go. But yay, we get a whole bunch of points for that. Yay. No new stickers, of course, but yay. And we get a giant sticker as well! Alright! Man, what are we gonna do with all these stickers? Huh. What's going on here? Maron, huh? For some reason he makes me think of a coconut. Or a chestnut. Huh. Yeah, what? Um... I bet he's just hungry. Well, we, there's nothing else over there, so, uh... Let's just scare away the ladybugs on our way down. I'm gonna actually climb down this tree. And I don't think there's a mini game if you try climbing back up, but just be sure. No, no mini game. Okay, so if you. This is now the tree where we were earlier. Let's have a. Did you get herself another cherry? But yeah, we got Cappy Spaceman here. Oh, you're gonna go through that again? Really? Oh, hey, she actually got a good one this time. Yeah, you're acting kinda weird. <laughs> Alright, so this is the other side of the river. I'm gonna sign off for now, and next time we'll continue exploring what remains of the revamped Sunny Peak, and then we're actually gonna proceed with the story again. So, this is Solomon signing off. See you next time.